ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Family Friendly Gaming with Soap the Great. Today we are doing another server how-tos here on the Too Crafty Vanilla Amplified server. What we're going to be doing today is a little bit more general. I'm going to show you how to use my base. So first things first, you need to come through my nether portal. There's a rather nondescript nether tunnel off of the hub. It has a sign with my name on it, and it's not decorated. It's just nether rack right now. But you come through that, come through that portal, and then come down the pier. And let me just show you what we're going to be looking at. Now, I've shown you how to use the skeleton grinder. And you just see that the reeds have done a harvest run. Okay, but right here we've got a slime farm and a reed farm. And then this reed farm, I did an episode on this quite some time back. But this reed farm is driven by cactus farms and a melon and pumpkin farm as well. So we've got a lot of automatic things going in here and I'm going to show you how to use all of that stuff. It's pretty much just AFK, okay? And, and really this is how to get to my storage system. Now this base is centered around a witch farm and so this is also going to be really just how to get some of the items in case I have not kept the potion supply shop stocked. But first things first, we're going to come up here to the tree farm layer. This is not an automatic tree farm. Instead, it's got a few different places right here under the glowstone. This is the oak tree growth area. The reason we do that is to minimize the number of large oaks that grow because those can be rather annoying to, uh, to break down. And then around the area just depends on what I've been needing and we've got a mix of spruce and dark oak and even a jungle tree. If you come through here, here's a bunch of saplings. You can just throw those down and then I've put some bone meal down here. Feel free to use that. And I've also got a melon farm. This was for getting whole melons when I was attempting to prank confound it. So that's the tree farm. And what we're going to do is go up a little bit further. We're going to go to the AFK layer. This is the best layer for making sure that the witch farm is in full uh, full spawnable range and very few caves are also in spawning range. So there's a couple of things up here that you can do AFK. Uh, for the most part this is safe from mob spawns. I haven't had any in quite some time. So uh, just if you feel like you need to be safe just uh, block yourself in here. But what we've got right here is an AFK farm. If you set that up correctly, what you can do is just take some of those items, anything that'll respond to bone meal, you can put and then just turn that on and then grab your item in, in your hand and just sit here and plant it constantly. And so what that's gonna do is give you a way to uh, produce a bunch of these items really quickly we don't really need that going though. I'm just going to throw those in there and I don't need any poisonous potatoes. Next thing is an AFK fishing farm. You've seen me do one of these before over at the Guardian farm. And we don't have any fishing rods there. We've got some in here. So what you need to do is just grab fishing rod there and then fill in your inventory all around with something that is not, uh, or that is uh, just something um, because what is going to happen is that as this thing is on it is going to be spitting out a fishing rod so whenever the fishing rod that you happen to be using breaks there we go you just want to hold this down uh, and whenever that breaks what's going to happen is a new fishing rod will come into your inventory so hold down the right mouse button and you can just keep holding this down I will put a link in the description box below to a tutorial that Zoomavoid did on how to go AFK with this um, and then just be able to use your computer at the same time. So you just hold down your right mouse button or some other key that you have mapped to that, that um, action on your settings and eventually you will get some items. Okay, so I'm not going to keep doing this. We're going to switch to something else and turn off the farm. Now what I do suggest is to put this fishing rod back into this chest and then over here 
you're going to get a variety of items. It's going to be either treasure or junk or fish. Okay, so right now it's just leftovers that from previous times that I've been up here and, uh, you know, I just leave them there. I do ask if you would consider putting fishing rods that you get out of the fishing back into the system to keep that going or at least go craft some more if you happen to be up here for a while. That just makes sure that we're continuing to keep that thing stocked. And then you can see a bunch of fish right here from times past and yeah, don't really need to eat those. All right, so we're gonna go further up and go into the base proper. This is the central hub, if you will, this is the storage room. And I've shown you how to get the skeleton drops, but we also have a general mob farm up top and so skeleton drops will come from that. So let's just go around. I've put item frames on for each of the, the uh, items that are in the bulk storage. And so you can grab some ender pearls if you need them, the zombie flesh, and then you just go on through. So you just come in and grab what you need. If you do happen to need anything, feel free to take it. And we see the witch farm drops starting here. And I've done some crafting. Of, of some of these other ones and kept those in the bulk storage. Same with the blocks of redstone. You come around here and you can see even more of the witch farm drops all the way around to here. And then we sometimes get string drops from the mob farm above. And then the slime balls and slime blocks. You don't get so many of those. I figured we would have a blaze farm by now, but we don't. And then over here, cactus and the, the other growables, if you will. Pumpkin, reeds, melons and then we get into the mining leftovers okay so I've done a lot of digging on this server and we've got a lot of the stone types so if you ever need smooth stone or cobble or any of this stuff feel free to come grab it and uh, on around we've even got some sand not too much and there's an automatic chicken cooker up top and that's just producing tons of chicken and I don't really need any of it and then feathers and then anything that goes into the sorting system that does not does not happen to match any of these items it drops into the junk drawer so there you have it ladies and gentlemen that's how to get the bulk items feel free also to just poke through here if you need a little bit of something feel free to take it that's fine I've done a lot of collecting and uh, just let me know if you happen to take a lot of stuff but uh, we do have have a few items that uh, I've got a lot of so feel free to grab that next thing to take a look at is how to do the mob farms okay so the witch farm you can see is currently on and the general mob farm is off okay I don't like keeping the mob farm on because one we don't really need that many drops and two it is a bit of a lag machine and if you happen to leave it on and then leave the area, uh, you could run into issues with unloading the chunks and how the collection system works. So I do ask if you need to do this, stay in the area and then when you're done, turn it off. Okay. And the witch farm, I just leave that going constantly because of glowstone and gunpowder. So that is how to use those two pieces. And then I've got a couple more couple more things to show you up here if you need a quick place to do some potion brewing I've got a little a little potion shop here and a really loud chicken farm feel free to use those the items are right here nether wart farm is right there and then the chicken farm well that's just automatic oh my it is loud over here we'll just set our spawn point as well and then we've got the cow farm and they are rather loud, but uh, I can turn down that volume in post-processing. So what you do, I have stocked this with some wheat. So come up here, hit this button, and then just jump up here and spam the wheat on these guys. That'll generate a bunch of little calves. Turn that off, and then what you'll want to do is hit this button. And if you do that twice, uh, you you will get you'll get uh, these guys down to a few more hits. Um, really, what you want to do is do that a couple times, and then it'll kill the adults. But make sure to breed them a few times before you do that. 
But that is how to use most of the lighthouse portion of the base. So uh, hopefully it proves useful to my fellow two craftians. Feel free to come over and use this. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.